Today on this 2014 Honda CRV, we're going to review and install the Roadmaster 4 Diode Universal Wiring Kit for Towed Vehicles, part number RM 152 981 46 7. What this kit does for you is relays the signals from your RV back to your CRV so all the vehicles behind you can see what's going on. Once it's installed, this is all you're going to see is not much you're going to get the effect of it, where the lights, you're going to have your running light circuit here, and then also your turn signal when supplied on your motorhome. One thing you'll notice is that the kit will make the, the brake light and running light on your CRV act as a running light, turn signal, and brake. Because remember, this is your turn signal when you're normally driving down the road. With this setup, you'll need four diodes that come with the kit, and it's minimally invasive on your vehicle. This is a great upgrade compared to other systems that are out there, such as magnetic lights, which you really want to use temporary use only. This is a permanent setup. It's, it works. It's nice. It's clean. And also compared to another type of setup where you install extra bulbs inside your light socket, you run the risk of having uh, moisture get in there and then you get the fogged up lens effect or uh, water in the lens eventually. So this system doesn't require you to get inside light just attached to the wires. Now on part of the kit we can see for now is our wire harness here. It comes with a seven pole connector. On one end it would plug into your RV and the other side comes with a six pole connector which will plug into your CRV. Now this does come with the other end that you attach to your vehicle up front here. So up on our CRV, this is the part that comes with the kit and you attach it and you have your six pole connection. Now it does not come with the end for a seven pole It's typically found already on your RV. Next we'll go ahead and cover some of the parts that you really can't see in a vehicle. What we can see is our four pole wire harness that comes in the kit, runs from the front to the back and down to the front of your vehicle. Now let's go ahead and cover some of the parts a little bit more detail before it's installed. This is all the components that come with the kit. Pretty complete. We'll go ahead and cover what comes with it. First off, we have all important diodes right here. There's four diodes for your three circuits. You have left turn, right turn, and two of these we use for your running light circuit on both sides of the vehicle. A generous amount of four pole wire, about 30 foot. And we have a wire harness plug that goes onto your tow bar. Notice it has a six pole end not installed yet because this is designed to go through the tow bar's uh, channel so, it holds, so the tow bar holds everything up in place. Also comes with a socket that gets mounted on in front of a vehicle and a bracket and hardware to mount it up to, the, to your base plate or wherever you, you choose to mount it somewhere else on the vehicle. You may or may not need these pieces. Let's begin the install. We need to take off both taillights on our vehicle. We're going to remove these two bolts here and here using an 8 millimeter socket. It's a little bit loose. You'll want to use a plastic pry tool to get back here and kind of work it backwards to get it started. And you want to pull backwards. Now I'm going to disconnect my wires from the tail light. There's a little tab right here that you push down. Push it in a little bit and then pull back. Give me one moment, I'll repeat that same process over on the passenger side. Working for wire harness here, we want the connection point that goes to the very top of the light. It goes to this part right here. This contains the brake signal that we need for turn signals and brakes because it's going to be combined on our, our motorhome and also the running light circuit. So you want to peel back the loom material to cut off a knife to get the tape started and we'll work for two wires. Now we tested our wires we found out that the red wire is our running light circuit and a blue wire is going to be our brake signal. What I like to do is attach my diodes first, then do our wires. Let's work for running light circuit first. Cut the wire in half. Take some wire strippers. Twist the wire so when you crimp down on them, they compress tightly. Now this wire is ready for our first diode. Let's get our diode ready. Grab any diode, doesn't matter. Take the terminals off. And I like to prep them with some dielectric grease because it does sit outside a little bit. I've actually seen these corrode even behind the tail light. So, so let's, let's slide it onto our terminal here, crimp it down into place. Do the pull test, make sure it doesn't come apart. Do this one more time on the other side of the wire. Take our diode. The one tab always goes towards the tail light. In this case, would be our end of our socket. That always goes in there like that. Plug that in. And the other side. 
goes on the tab. Doesn't matter which tab you use. Now this makes our, when we plug these together, our circuit's complete again, so it should work as normal. Our remaining tab will be for our tow bar wiring that we'll add later. Now I'll repeat the same exact process for our brick wire. I'm gonna add one more diode into this side. Now we took a moment to identify the wires on our passenger side. Guess what, they're the same. Red wire is gonna be a running light circuit. Blue wire is gonna be a brake signal. So let's go ahead and add our diodes in, the same just like we did on the driver's side. We'll attach to our sheet metal. It looks like there's some weld spots right here, so that tells me that there's two layers of metal. So I'll go ahead and use that. That just gives more for our self tapping screw to dig into, keep it nice and tight. Once again, we'll strip our wires back. Let's hook up to our diodes. Remember, running light circuit's brown. That's gonna go to our running light circuit on our diode, which is on the car is going to be red. On this diode for the brake signal, our green wire, which will be our right turn signal and brake light, will attach to this tab here. And since we're not using our yellow wire here, you can peel this back and bring it to the other side if you need it, or you just cut it off flush here, and we'll tap into the yellow wire as we need it up towards the other side of the taillight. We're finished for our connections on the passenger side, so we'll bundle up our wires, keep it nice and neat. Now I'm gonna zip tie my diodes together. One note, they have adhesives on the back, so if you add leaders to them, then you can hide them or attach them somewhere else in the vehicle if you'd like. But for simplicity, we just keep them in line with the factory wires. Cut off our tails, plug back in our light, and reassemble. Take your diode, just kind of push them as close as you can to the tail light. Line up the tab right here, and push it into place. By the way, it's going to be a real tight fit with those diodes in there, but you have to shuffle it around, make sure it gets flat, and then you can go ahead and reattach your fasteners. At this point, we can take our four pole wire and run it across to the other side. So basically what I did is I just pulled it down, I pushed it up over the bumper structure support right here, goes over the top of that, and then I ran it behind this plastic piece right here. Of course, mine has a hitch on there, so, um, but if yours doesn't, you can take down these little plastic rivets right here, a little easier access and run the wire across. To take out these rivets if you need to, Take a screwdriver, there's a little edge right there, pop it, and then you can pull out the little panel, move around as needed. Then to reinstall, push it in, push the center in, and you're done. So we'll get this hole for a hitch. You can see if I've got a wire pulled through, and we just push it back up. And I just use a simple uh, wire pull to push it back up into place. Mine was an old piece of airline tubing, but you can use any uh, piece of wire that can hold its shape and route it through the top. Got our wire pulled up, make sure we take up all the slack as we can. And I'm gonna, once again, anchor it to the factory wire harness. This way, on this side of the zip tie, that goes to the passenger side, and this side will go towards the front of the vehicle. To make our connections to our diodes, we need to split the wires up so we can work with them. So be careful you don't mess up the wire. Sharp knife helps. Just go in between to get it started. Once you have a little bit started, about an inch or so, then it's easier to pull apart. Now, one thing to remember with our wires here, we're not going to deal with our green wire because that goes to our passenger side. We're not going to deal with our white wire because that's already grounded on the other side as well. So we only have these two to work with. So our yellow wire will be our turn signal and brake for the left-hand side. We won't need the part that goes to the other side. So I can go ahead and snip that off right there and get it ready for use. So let's go ahead and put a terminal end on our yellow wire. Now we can take this and hook it up to our diode for our turn signal. Now, brown, now our brown wire is going to be a little bit different because it has to go to the, our running light diode on this side as well as the passenger side. Simple enough, we'll just cut it in half, strip the wires back. And this is where we'll use a different uh, spade terminal, the big yellow one, because we will use that as a junction for these two wires. Then twist the two together, crimp it into place. And that can go onto our diode for a running light circuit. For now, we'll take our four wire, drop it right back down out the bottom, and later on, we'll run it to the front.
This is my pull wire, by the way. Push it down, let it drop down. You want to fish it out. The bottom, you'll still want to have a panel on the bottom loose so you can work with it. Let's pack up our diodes with a zip tie one more time. Then we go ahead and reinstall our tail light. Now also I've noticed on the other one, you get a little more flexibility if you leave the wires a little bit loose to help work it in there. This does take up a lot of space and gets really close when it sits inside here. Gonna run the four wire up through the front, give me a few minutes to run it through, and I'll show you how I did it. Starting off from the back here, from behind this panel, ran a wire going towards the front, along the, underneath the body of the framework right here. I did cover it in some extra loom material. Going over rear sub suspension frame, just kind of to help hide the wire, to help hide the colors, use the loom, and help protect it. Ran it above the uh, brake line here, down, long parking brake cable here, which would be a good idea to zip tie, and then run our wire behind this panel here. Now this panel has a few fasteners you can take down and just peel out, and I just slip my wire up in here and just let the panel protect it. That'll get put back into place. On the other side of the panel, I ran it out, added some more loom material, help protect it, since it's kind of down low here, and I ran it up front and went over the steering linkage right here where I use a loom clamp to help hold up and ensure it stays up and out of the way. And then when it goes up to the engine compartment, we'll tie it off tight to make sure it doesn't come down. And I pulled the wire up tight here. We zip tie it to the factory wire harness right here to help take the tension up and make sure it doesn't fall down. I left this, intentionally left this loop right here for a future upgrade to a, a supplemental braking system. So eventually, guys, you're gonna need this a couple trips without it, you're gonna notice it behind your RV. So leave a loop in here for the addition for that later on. Run a wire around this harness here, around the battery. Make sure you leave enough slack in here for service in the battery in the future. Ran underneath the grill here. And then when I pulled it down to the bottom, the way I ran it, it ended up a little short. So I added some buck connectors, another length of four wire. And also I used up the loom material that came with the kit. I used that to hide the wires as it goes down behind the grill. Behind the grill, we've got it ran down. And it comes out the bottom for a future location of our six pole plug. We'll cut our wires to, to length. I'm actually gonna leave it just a little bit more in here because eventually this will probably need to be serviced and replaced. So it's good to have a little extra uh, built into it when you put it in the first time. Peel our wires back and we'll strip the wires back and get them ready. Once again, after we have our wires stripped, We'll twist them, then we can add our six pole. Before we attach our wires to our six pole here, I like to do some prep work first. First up, I'm gonna loosen up the screws on here, on the ones that I need. GD for ground, TM for trailer marker lights, that'll be our brown wire. LT for a left turn signal, also brake signal, and a right turn signal and brake signal. The other remaining three of course we won't need, but they'll be available for a future upgrade. Now, since this is in the front of a vehicle and it's going to get beat up in the wind and rain in certain times, I like to do some dielectric grease inside the contacts too. I've seen these grease corrode up and then it'll actually uh, make your braking system malfunction, such as work when you don't need it to work. So always make sure that this is all weather tight, either you use silicone or I like using the dielectric grease. Our cap goes on first, just slide it up in there, forget about it for now. Do my ground first. White wire to G, D. Brown wire goes to TM. Green wire goes to right turn. And yellow goes to the one marked LT for left turn. Caps can go into place. It's not a bad idea to fill up this gap with some silicone as well. And then tape it all together. So let's take some basic electrical tape and let's work our way down onto the wire. Using the hardware that comes with the base plate, I'll go ahead and attach it, our six pole to it. Then we can bundle up our excess wire. Everything's set up, now it's time to test it out. Guys at home are probably going to use your RV to help power the lights. In this case, i got a power supply, so let's check our work. First up, we'll try our taillight circuit. Should have one on each side. Next up, left turn signal, right turn signal, so we're both working, we also know that tells us that, both, that our brake lights work. With our car side of our install complete, 
Let's move on to a wire harness for our tow bar. This long straight cord is great for going into the channel of your tow bar right here. In this case, we're using the Falcon all-terrain tow bar. And it just runs through a channel right through here. Also, this will share the same channel with your uh, safety cables as well. Here's our wires already prepped from the factory. So we just need to add our six pole to it. This is our six pole connector. Let's get it ready. Take out this set screw here. It clamps down on the cable. I just like to take it out and put it back together later. Use the big Phillips screwdriver, maybe a number two. This one we'll use our small Phillips screwdriver. Put that in a safe location. Take out the center. Once again, we'll take out the screws that we're going to use. We'll just loosen them up, not take them out. And once again, I'm gonna prep it with some dielectric grease. Get our cable back out. Run it through here. Backside connector. Push it on there, forget about it for now. And we'll do our wire connections. First off, our white one is gonna to go to ground. You can see we have two extra circuits, our black and our blue. We'll go ahead and put those in as well. Even though they're not currently used, it's better to have them ready to go. So our center pin will get the black wire. Brown wire will go to the one labeled T. This one is labeled S, so I'm gonna take my blue wire and put it to that one. Letter R will get the green wire. Okay, our last one will be L for left turn. A little grease between the wires, and we'll be set to put it back together. Put the inside back into the case. Run our set screw back in. Now our clamp, brown side goes in. Put in our set screw, and that's it. And with that, they'll finish it for Roadmaster 4 Diode Universal Wiring Kit. Part number RM-152-98146-7 on this 2014 Honda CRV.